Within the measurement category, we modified a whole bunch of our measurements. I think it was about 33 different measurements such that they could handle two port measurements where you can assign any combination of ports. So for example, the noise figure measurement and prior to V13, it would have to be a two port schematic or data file that you were measuring. Well, now you can choose any combination of ports to do that. So here, for example, I have an LNA pentaplexer. So I got six ports, five inputs and one output. And if I wanted to look at the noise figure of the different combinations, now I can do that without having to set up a test bench for each different set of comp each different combination of ports. So you can see all the results here pointing to just a single schematic. And within the uh, layout realm, we added some improvements as well. So we can now draw, the user can now draw directly on line types. So if you look at your, your uh, layout panel, you can see the drawing layers, you have those, what you would normally draw on. Now we have line types as a category. So if I wanted to choose plated metal as to draw on, if I draw on plated metal, here you can see it draws directly on plated metal. We also added some new uh, layout editing commands. For example, uh, if you wanted to rotate a shape, we still have the right click ro rotate command where you click a, a basis of an origin for the rotation and you spin it around as necessary. But we added some built-in hotkeys, control left arrow and control right arrow will rotate an object by 90 degrees. We also have a command repeat mode. So for example, if I took these four vias right here and I said copy and then paste, now I'm in paste mode. If I hit command repeat and paste again, I am staying in paste until I hit escape or click the command repeat mode button again. Our layout now supports cutouts. So if you have a shape right here and you wanted to add a cutout, you just right click and say add cutout and I'll choose circle. And now I have a circular cutout. And this, is a sh this exists as a shape I can move around. So if I needed to move my cutout around, I can do that. And if I wanted to, if I needed to support, for example, GDS format where it has to be a polygon, I would just right click and say add cut lines and then it becomes a polygon again. Uh, lastly, I have the ability to move or copy with reference. So for example, if I wanted to take this shape and move it over here, I can just go to my edit menu and say move. And now it's going to, it's looking for a reference point. So instead of it being, you know, wherever I clicked before, I can hit control to click on this corner. And now I'm dragging from there. I can control to click on this corner and it will, will go there. Um, similarly, there is also a copy, copy with reference command under the edit menu. So I can choose that point and copy and paste. Whenever I paste now where I'm pasting has that point of reference. Uh, one other uh, feature we added to V13 is the ability to do shape preprocessing and layouts. So if we open up this project here, what we have is we have a standard via right here. Um, for the sake of simplification, if we wanted to change this circle to an octagon and maybe take the three layers that are used up here and combine them into a single layer, we can add this layout modifier element. And what we can do is we can use a whole set of, we can use a set of rules. Now these are the same rules that you might be using in our EM flow already. For example, Axiom and Analyst already support shape preprocessing for EM. Now you can do it at the schematic level. And so if I apply this here and then place that element in hierarchy, you can now see that shape has been simplified. So we now have an octagon for the circle and a little easier to see in 3D view how we've combined those three metal layers into a single layer. And last but not least for uh, layout improvements, we've added, uh, made it easier to edit in the 2D mode by adding opacity. So if we have our imported design right here, you can see how you can see, you can see through the top layer to see the lower layers. So with uh, prior to V13, if you were, 
if you were looking at this layout and I say unchecked all my opacity, sorry, checked all my opacity, this is what your layout would look like. Now that we've added the ability to, to have opacity in the 2D, in the 2D view, uh, you can now see through those layers. So you have a better picture with your multi-layer, multi-layer, multi-level designs of what is going on underneath the top layer. So you don't have to toggle off certain layers to see what is underneath. 